ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್ತನೀರ್
among these five also let us say there is emergency and we are not able to perform all five in case of emergency then we should perform only two serve devotees asura devotees we are serving them so vaishnav seva and chanting of the holy names whatever our prescribed rounds are there they are considered most important so lot of devotees are there in the house then what to do chant your rounds 16 rounds and serve the devotees and let us say even that time is not that time is very less then bhakti no tagore says naam sankirtan is top most complete your rounds we can ex- tell the devotees to have patience or guests to have to patience and just chant your rounds tar madhye sarvashesha naam sankirtan nir aparadhe naam le le pai prem dai among all of them the most important is naam sankirtan chanting of the holy names so that they consider the top most हाँ यस मंजूनाथ हरे कृष्ण गुरु जी धना पूर्ण एज यू मेन्शंड वेन वी हेव सम टाफ टाइम्स अटलीस्ट वी गिव वी गिव वी कंप्लीट अवर चैंटिंग द राउंड्स एक्चुअली व्हाट इवन इफ दैट आल्सो नॉट हैपन हाउ टू ओवरकम दैट प्रभु जी इवन दैट मीन द सिचुएशन कम्स इवन अनएबल टू कवर दैट कमिटेड कमिटेड राउंड्स आल्सो हाउ टू ओवरकम दैट एक्चुअली एनी सॉल्यूशन प्रभु जी See, we should do it anyway. We should have that determination. Actually, if we keep on reading about holy name, the importance of the chanting of the holy name, we should at least have a conviction. That whatever happens, at least I'll chant my sixteen notes. Unless until somebody is in hospital and he is on anesthesia, that is a different thing. So there also there was one devotee who was supposed to have this uh, heart surgery. So he chanted 32 rounds one day before only, because he is going to be on anesthesia. And next day, 16 rounds he chanted in advance. But otherwise, whatever may happen, we can always chant our 16 rounds. See, in Brahmacari's life also, many times comes when festivals are there. Earlier, I can say first seven eight years of my stay in Brahmacari ashram. रथ यात्रा बोल भी टाइम एंड हार्डली वी वुड गेट टू स्लीप समटाइम बिकॉज इज गेटिंग स्लीप फॉर थ्री फोर आवर्स फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ए मंथ कैलकाटा रथ यात्रा इज बिगेस्ट रथ यात्रा आफ्टर पूरी रथ यात्रा सो लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क बट वी वुड मेक इट प्रायोरिटी दैट एटलीस्ट वी चैंड सिक्सटीन नॉट्स जूडिंग जल दूत यात्रा एंड फर्स्ट टू डेज जनरली वी हैव टू प्रैक्टिकली सर्व फोर्टी एट आवर्स कंटिन्यूसली So then I would serve till three o'clock. Go take bath, chant my sixteen rounds, continue the service. So we should make it a top priority. And actually speaking, even if we are sick, chanting is such a easy activity that it can always be done. Ah, I have two instances, at least till now. So one instance was when uh, there are three instances. One instance was like. I had brain malaria. Each word was looking like a hammer. There also I found I could chant. The two devotees before me who got brain malaria they lost their memory only for many many days. Second time it happened I was hospitalized uh, during dengue. So my blood platelet count went till sixteen thousand, and uh, below ten thousand means one may die also. so there were bottles and syringes and all things were going on from one hand and i could chant from the other hand no just so i told that put everything in the left side only left hand not in the right hand right hand was free similarly recently also dengue was there i had 103 fever for 8 days sorry this corona corona 103 fever was there for 8 days there also i found i could chant somehow mahapuru has made this formula so easy nobody can give an excuse i can't chant my 16 notes so this most simple thing so it is possible it's possible to chant but uh, sometimes that uh, mind is uh, distressed or demotivated depressed uh, those kind of scenarios uh, uh, also uh, i personally seen it prabhu ji so 
uh, when the examples which you quoted uh, i i completely agree but uh, this kind of scenarios uh, whether we are doing uh, uh, where whether we are hearing or not hearing blindly we can do uh, that is acceptable prabhuji see main thing is at least and you see nouns if not with that quality so like sick when we are sick it's it's difficult to concentrate really speaking especially when i had brain malaria it was like no so many thoughts were coming randomly so that time we can say okay at least chant 16 rounds somehow okay. thank you okay. uh, there a question could you please explain in abcd devotion practice what is a and b a is so this question in the chat box so a means asuran of devotees vaishnav sangha so that consists of associating with the devotees and associating with devotees means not just physically sitting next to them talking krishna katha with them taking prasad with them having six loving exchanges with them serving them that is association so in the next verse we'll discuss about six loving exchanges so that's association and b means books reading prabhupad books so that's a uh, basically for us is it okay i think among them only there are some some conversation looks yes. like i think devotees answered it thank you so much hari ah okay, okay so it was not for me okay fine now next is sang tyag somebody can read sang tyag yeah i'll read probably sangatya giving up uh, association of non devotees the Div- definition of association giving in charity accepting charity revealing one's mind hearing one's mind accepting foods and giving foods if done with love these are called sangha or association giving some food stuffs to a hungry person and accepting some charity from a pious man is done out of duty not out of love even they are materialist this type of engagement is not considered association but if they are pure devotees <clears throat> if they are if they are pure devotees such a, uh, then such activities are performed out of love when acts are performed out of love then it is association therefore giving charity to pure vaishnavas and accepting items or wealth from them becomes sangatyag giving charity to a materialist or accepting charity from one if done out of love becomes sang asat sangat asat sang when a materialist approaches you whatever is required to be done should be done only for out of duty one hari krishna prabhu ji yeah. one should not speak confidential confidentially with a, with a materialist generally there is some love involved in confidential speaking therefore it is association while meeting a materialist friend one should speak only what is extremely necessary at that time it is better not to exhibit heartfelt love but if that if, if that friend is a proper vaishnava then one should accept his association by speaking to him with love this type of behavior with relatives and friends creates no hostility there is no association in ordinary talk and one should behave with ordinary people as on as one extremely behaves with a stranger while buying something in the market the same dealings with a pure devotee of lord should be done out of love if one is obliged to, to feed hungry people needy people and teachers he should do so as a host hosted dutifully cares for his guest there is no need to exhibit love care for them but not out of love one should feed pure vaishnavas with love when <clears throat> and when required accept the remnants given by them with love if one can behave in this way while giving in charity accepting charity speaking confidentially hearing confidentially feeding and accepting food with one's wife children servants maid servants strangers and who ever hari krishna prabhu oh where i must else yeah Okay. Okay. Else, okay. else, yeah, yes, probably. Else, once uh, one meets, there will there will be no unholy association, only good association. 
there is no hope of achieving devotion to krishna until one gives up unholy association in this way a renunciate vaishnava should accept whatever all <coughs> alms he receives by a madukari or begging at the house of a honest householder with the above mentioned consideration he should always remember the difference between the gross begging and madukari a grosta vaishnava should accept prasad grains and drinks in the house of another grosta who has a pure character one should always be cautious about taking prasad in the house of non devotee and one is one with bad character there is no need to speak further about this due to this due to their pious activities those who have developed a faith in devotion service have a little indulgence by the mercy of krishna due to that intelligence they can easily understand the essence of acharya's instructions therefore only a few words are needed to instruct them those who have no pious credits have no pious no faith even even if they are given volumes of instruction they will not understand a thing therefore shrila rupa goswami has given only a few words of instruction in sri upadesha amruta hare krishna so basically what bhakti no thakur is saying is that uh, uh, we can have same six loving exchanges only with devotees externally we can be caring for the people do whatever is needed as a brahmachari or as a grahastha but love should not be involved in that if love is involved then attachment comes so that great difference of in external activity and the internal mood so the internal mood of with outsiders is we do it dutifully because it has to be done because we have a body we have a family we are in a society we have to do it but out of love we should do only with devotees and especially he was warning about prasad so somebody has a bad character or somebody has a is not a devotee then we have to be careful not to take so these are few warnings by bhakti no thakur especially outside whatever is cooked there no guarantee also so then one has to be careful okay so okay there no e so we say cd So C is for chanting, D is for deity worship, and D is also for dham seva or visiting holy places. So there are C and D, chanting of the holy name C, D is deity worship and dham seva, going to the different dams. Okay. Narasimham Prabhu has a question. Uh, we are not able to hear you are you speaking something i think so prabhu is speaking might be mic has in some issue prabhu okay prabhu uh, can i ask one question prabhu unfortunately i don't have option to raise a hand so okay. shall i ask question prabhu? prabhu as you mentioned that uh, we try to avoid uh, as much as uh, or completely avoid from non devotees and you mentioned that uh, to the extent is fine or okay for uh, people are uh, good nature piety uh, they are doing some piety activities in exception cases we can accept okay you are talking about prasadam right yes yes see pious also uh best thing is you tell them that please give me some fruits and offer to the lord and take that's like highest standard if not then at least in their house if their own and garlic is not cooked then we may take but the highest standard is just tell them that no i have certain regulatory timings i have restricted diet mm-hmm. so you give me fruits okay. and then i'll take it and then we can offer it and take uh, the whole fruit okay because many times what happens is we uh, getting people who don't take onion garlic is very rare yeah. in our our some places in north india it is there Like in my town, almost 40-50 percent people don't take onion garlic. 
but in general i have not seen in the rest of india they are in some place or rajasthan i saw but not in uh, many places okay. so even if they are pious then they take uh, onion garlic and if they have cut the uh, food from uh, what do we say with the knife using onion garlic then even cut fruits are like contaminated okay and also okay. cooking also along with cooking this consciousness of people goes hmm what are consciousness people बेटर वी हाईजैक देयर किचन एज ए डिवोटी वी गो एंड सर्व विदम एंड दैट कैन आल्सो बी डन बट दैट कैन बी डन विद पीपल हु आर एट लीस्ट नॉट मीट ईटर्स ओके ओके सी मीट ईटर्स नो देयर किचंस आर लाइक स्लॉटर हाउसेस ओह माय गॉड सो टेरिफाइंग ओके या थैंक्स प्रो थैंक्स प्रो हरे सो नरसिम्हा प्रो समहाउ वी आर नॉट एबल टू हियर यू Maybe you can type your uh, question in the chat box. Ah, uh, you can hear now, Prabhu. Ah, uh, now I can hear. Yes. Prabhu. Yeah. Sorry, Prabhu. I had to swap between headsets and this. Sorry. Yeah, Prabhu. I what I wanted is in the previous verse. I wanted means could you explain us on Madhukari? What is meaning of Madhukari, Prabhu? Okay, it's more for a Brahmachari. So hmm. Madhukari means one has to. behave like a bumblebee the difference between bumblebee and a honey bee and they have just opposite nature so honey bee is there it collects all the honey puts in the hive and later on tries to drink it so they store and whenever they want to drink the honey from the honey comb they attack each other and sting each other so that's generally example given for the metalist who are like honey bee so they accumulate lot of money for later on enjoying the wealth but then there are government taxes there are thieves who are waiting there are relatives who want to take your money and never return it back so it becomes a source of trouble but a renounce it is supposed to be like a bumblebee what a bumblebee do whatever is required for sustenance at that time it takes Goes to the other flower, goes to the third flower. So similarly, those who are uh, in wrong sort of life, they can beg in the houses of householders, but they should take whatever is required at that time. They should not store, and they should takes little little from different houses, three houses, four houses, five houses, so that. Householders are not overburdened, so that's a traditional system. The traditional system of uh, Madhukari. I have seen this in my childhood. There were now a lot of Babaji who would just go in five houses. They would call once, three times they would call. Somebody comes and gives. That's all right. Otherwise, they move to the other house. So the system is still being followed in many places. In Scone, we don't do like that, Brahmacharis. So in Scone, uh, whatever Brahmacharya Asram gives. devotees rely on that they don't like no keep out their own stores and this and that as far as charity is concerned charity also for those who are in a wrong order of life there are two types of charity one is called dan and another is called dakshina so dan has lot of karma it is just given charity so one has to be very careful with that dakshina doesn't have karma dakshina means you go render service to a householder and he gives you some charity so that's not called charity it's called dakshina because you are rendering some service and he is out of his own will he is giving some charity as a return for the service so when devotees go they do some programs hari naam sankirtan some katha and somebody gives charity that doesn't have karma so that's considered safer For uh, those who are in wrong sort of, Sandosh Prabhu has a question. Thanks very much, Prabhu. Prabhuji, question is that uh, since we are a part of the society, uh, can we take care of the uh, people who are like uh, orphan people, and can we bring them to the part of later part of can can we bring them to the part of Krishna consciousness? Prabhu, uh, your voice was breaking. So is it audible from now? And now it is audible, and you can speak bit slow and loud. 
yeah from since we are part of the society can we take care of the people who are like uh, like uh, who doesn't have anything like uh, orphan people like that and slowly bring them to the part of krishna consciousness is it fine prabhu like that is okay but we have to be see we have to see that we are giving them krishna conscious input also okay that's why devotees what they do is they generally give prasadam and then they accept tell them to chant similarly those are orphans you can give them prabhupad books you can give them a devotion content should be given along with uh, taking care of them so as a grahastha if somebody opens the orphanage gives necessary things for person's livelihood also sorry uh, for living and progressing for children for their education at the same time somebody is giving them krishna consciousness to make them devotees that's very good it's like it comes in the category of preaching sure. thank you narasim mam pro Yeah, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Prabhu, this was in reference to the previous, like what Kalyan Prabhu asked. So, Prabhu, like what happens is sometimes we need to visit houses of our relatives, and suppose they are actually taking meat or they cook meat in their houses. So, and they with love they call us, and if you means how to handle these situations, Prabhu, these practical situations. Just wanted to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, in those cases, you can tell them, please give us. or what we should do is before going to their house you keep some knife which you bring from your own house peeler and a knife i generally keep these two things i generally have one thing only one side is peeler other side is knife so then in that case and keep one small altar with you we have an iskon with small altars go to their house take fruits from them peel it cut it and uh, offer to the lord and take it or you can keep some tulsi manjari also so that's a practical way of doing so tell them that actually it's not that i don't love you i do love you at the same time i love krishna also so i don't want to give up any of you neither you nor krishna so initially they may be bit upset but in due course of time they do appreciate our uh, standards so that is what generally i have seen okay prabhu thank you okay. Yes, Prabhakar. Uh, Arikshna Prabhu ji, Dhanavad Pranam. Uh, Prabhu ji, as you mentioned, Don, right? Uh, can we give money to beggars, or we should not give Prabhu in case if it is needy? Okay. See, one thing is, Grastha should always give charity. But at the same time, you want to be saved from karma, then keep prasad all the time. So my recommendation would be, Grastha should always keep prasad. and whenever anybody comes give them some prasad because charity is always like giving money is always risky because people may misuse and many time they do misuse see generally what happens is generally nobody is so poor that he doesn't get to eat that is what generally we have seen so generally the children who come to beg is are either employed by the some gangsters for getting money or if they are like very adult people they are the ones who have bad habits that's why they don't have uh, they are begging very rarely you will find someone who doesn't get to eat see krishna is maintaining elephants also why can't he maintain people so generally those are the people are beggars when they don't have uh, proper habits so that's the best thing is give them prasad but grasta should always keep prasad they should never say no because if you say no what happens is there is a hard heartedness which comes so that's why grasta should always keep some dry prasad with them so keep carry with you some beggar comes give them okay thanks sir parikesh thanks bro okay. now suddenly when you keep prasad don't eat everything keep something for charity also <laughs> Otherwise, we keep prasad and keep on eating everything. Prasad Prabhu had a question. What is about the prasadam? What if the people we met are very close to us, like brothers, sisters, and they are non-devotees? See, that's why in case of somebody very close to us, brother, sister, or mother. So, in uh, 
that case we have to see that we have to make them devotees in due course of time so we can make them a devotees in due course of time so then that's okay now that's why we should we can ask especially it's more for youth actually for grastas is can be still stricter for youth what happens is you are totally dependent on the parents for your even devotion service so what we recommend them is then when you go home you take even it is without onion garlic whatever is cooked by parents but for uh, our brother and sister they are our brother and sister and they will never become our enemy what my observation is even if we are little stricter they do accept our our uh, values they do accept it so that's what my general observation is i have not seen people getting bitter relationship just because they don't take prasadam in the house of brothers and sisters or see cooked food not prasadam cooked food rather i have seen opposite generally what i have seen is devotees who are strict their brothers and sisters also become devotees or you go and you feed them lot of prasad you feed them lot of prasad they will generally then they will understand why this fellow keeps on taking only prasad and then they will also become devotees okay kalyan pur yeah prashant prabhu has question yeah prabhu done prabhu thank you yeah prabhu thank you Hare and then another question was can you can you explain difference between charity see charity is english word charity has a nothing to do with charity is called as common word so actual word is daan and dakshina daan is when one give, gets charity or money without rendering any service somebody comes to temple gives charity if they give directly to deities it doesn't have much karma but if somebody comes and gives you then it has heavy load of karma one has to be careful especially somebody is maintaining a shorter house or somebody is basically involved in directly bringing forth the principles and such charity has lot of karma daan is you go render service to them like doing hari naam in their place or doing some krishna katha then what they give that is called dakshina so that dakshina is okay that's free from karma okay so there is a difference okay then sarojini kalindi mata ji what if some people have a genuine need of some medical emergency and they reach out for help so again we have to see how much genuine it is and also we have to see that after that we should have ability to make them devotees also because what happens is you are giving some medical help they are supposed to be grateful and be little obliged then you introduce them krishna consciousness then that's okay otherwise no we give you just help for medical emergency and they slaughter 10 other animals it would be justice for these people and injustice for these 10 animals so then we have to understand what uh, benefit are we going to do or no you do give a medical help blindly and later on it turns to be terrorist na he will kill enough 50 other people so that's why when we give some uh, anything like medical help and etc we have to see that it should be along with spiritual help also like uh, murari gupta who is mahapurush associate it is said that he would give people medicine which cures their body as well as medicine which cures their material disease that means freeing them from cycle of birth and death so he would give both the things together so that's okay but it should be along with a uh, spiritual help also then uh, rakhi mata ji had a question what if someone meets with an accident in front of our eyes 
do we not help him by taking to hospital no that's okay see taking to hospital is okay but then after that taking a, taking care of all the expenses of this person and no physically serving for long time that's like something too much so whatever is called humanity that must we can do but then excessive help extraordinary help or going out of the way then we have to be careful so humanity has to be there any animal is getting uh, injured human being is getting injured we can take him to the hospital that's okay Hare Krishna Prabhu, while traveling in trains, Hijadas demand us to give money. If we refuse, they will create nuisance. How we can handle? So, main thing is, if they are like, a, you give them prasad, they are happy with that. That's very good. And in case they are not happy with prasad, they are saying, no, no, we want money only. And they start doing some nuisance. Now they start lifting their clothes or anything like that. then we have to give only it's like more of a gangster behavior then asking something it's like you, know, you have no choice at that time like you know, some gundas also come sometime for charity and no if you don't pay them charity they'll give you they'll say now we'll murder you so that's not called charity that's like to survive we are giving so that's a different thing how to satisfy family members who are non devotees that demands are increasing or they are not trying to adjust with us or ex- we expect something from them and they do not do it simple as the thing is user intelligence not that no we become exploited at all together so there's no like golden formula but user intelligence and as bhakti no takur has written no devotees generally have intelligence jai krishna vaje sei vada chatur or take help from other devotees depending on their uh, time place circumstances so we have to take guidance from devotees but there no like straight jacket formula sometimes you have to give help sometimes you have to receive calls fine so now we'll go to the this particular chart so sangha sanghas of two types association and attachment asun is again again of two types non devotees those are karmis gyanis yogis their association have to be given up because they don't have a desire to please krishna asun of opposite sex for women men for men it is women for women it is men so now the two standards for uh, renounced sets as well as householders renounced sets should totally be careful they should associate for with the opposite sex with women as much as required for service that's why there's a verse in bhagavatam it says nan vagni pramada nama grit kamb यथापमान सुताम अपि जहो जयात अन्वया यावत अर्थकृत दैट मींस मैन इज कंपेयर्ड टू बटर वुमेन इज कंपेयर्ड टू फायर एंड दैट्स व्हाई वन शुड एसोसिएट इवन विद वंस डॉटर व्हाट टू से ऑफ अदर वुमेन अपार्ट फ्रॉम वंस वाइफ एज मच एज रिक्वायर्ड सो रिनाउंस इट्स आल्सो एज मच एज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सर्विस दे शुड एसोसिएट हाउस होल्डर्स कैन एसोसिएट विद वाइफ according to religious principle but one should give up luxurious mentality luxurious mentality means too much fondness of wife too much fondness of wife means will find some people any time you meet them they start glorifying their wife only more than uh, glorifying krishna like one of the persons he was donor so he lost his wife and he was old man he needed some help so every day some brahmachari would go in his house and go and go and sleep in the next bed so that this person comes out of trauma and he gave a big charity actually he gave a huge building to his con 
now worth many many crores so then temple president said that you should go devotees are going but whoever would go whole night they had to hear his wife's uh, katha almost 7 8 hours no this fellow would glorify his wife now uh, 8 hours somebody chants hari krishna it is 64 rounds so that's called luxurious mentality so attachment can be there but excessive attachment excessive attachment is uh, denied so it should be more attachment than anyone else <laughs> like i uh, know one grasta counselor says be attached to your wife otherwise you'll be attached to another's wife so that's okay but excessive attachment is should not be there then not that no you are thinking of wife at all that time works with his wife for achieving transcendental happiness so both husband wife should help each other in progressing in spiritual life so purpose should be very clear that we are helping each other to progress in spiritual life because grahasthas don't think only about themselves they think about whole family how whole family can go back and back to god as far as women are concerned they can take shelter of other women like sister daughter etc for help in the house even if they are not devotees because that helps them to practice bhakti in a better way so then that is not called as you know, non devotees so they can take that help so so this one type of uh, association and second one is attachment so that two type of attachment for prejudices which are coming from uh, this life or previous life and for assets so these two attachments are there they also come in the category of assumption of non devotees those attachments so some are ancient in the sense that we might have practiced karma gyana etc in so many lifetimes so it becomes a part of nature so then solution for either of the prejudices is assumption of pure devotees who have great affection for the lord second one is good and bad attained in this life due to uh, association so two type of prejudices are there like i can tell about myself also i was a person who would not speak a word for a day so especially in class 9th and 10th i remember nobody would sit next to me it would be like sitting in next to a dead matter so that type of mentality was there because i would contemplate a lot maybe i was a gyani in last life or something like that i don't know so those tendencies were there but now after coming krishna consciousness i have to speak so much sometimes i have to give 9 8 9 hours of class so then whatever required for krishna service we do that so these are prejudices from prior previous lives and some things are current current means now there was no bollywood and tollywood or anything like that in previous ages but now it has emerged in the modern age especially i have seen in the people who are from andhra pradesh so that attachment is there uh, attachment to the movies and the songs and all these things so then there are prejudices from this life or somebody is from a background where one has lot of uh, pride of one's nation caste religion etc sometimes a lot of pride for from caste also i don't know in andhra i heard like now some people say now we are reddies reddies means something different <laughs> so then uh, these sort of prejudices are there so then you identify only with the reddies even with, among coming as one of devotees we ask their caste from which caste are you so these are called prejudices from this life so they should also be given up then there are uh, attachments for assets as it like wife children home etc 
so they can be given up by assumption of devotees engagement in devotion service and observance observance of holy days like kartik month we do some take extra vows like i'll chant some extra rounds chanting some extra rounds on ekadashi etc and also using these things in krishna service by we engage our wife and serving vaishnavas by cooking so when we uh, in this way even these attachments can be spiritualized so then they are okay so in this way we can overcome attachment problem okay fine so this was another quality and uh, last one is sadhu vritti or sato vritti somebody can read sadhu vritti hare krishna prabhu i'll read prabhu following in the footsteps of the previous acharyas there are two kinds of sadhus householders and renunciates i will separately describe uh, the vritti or occupation of each although householders and renunciate uh, renunciates have different occupations there are some they have have in common this will be discussed separately <clears throat> there are two meanings of the word occupation propensity and lifestyle propensity means one's nature or swabhava those natural propensities are the living entities of living ent- entities dharma occupation propensity one nature or swabhava lifestyle can you scroll down prabhu yeah. every member of varna ashrama while engaging in his specific duty should cultivate mode of goodness and devotion Uh, next maintenance gross body accumulate a house household items grains and drinks settled body proper knowledge proper and proper occupation uh, this varna ashrama and religious duty as a sanyasi equa- equanimity and non violence vana prastha austerity and philosophical understanding of body and soul grihastha giving shelter to all living beings and performing sacrifice brahmachari serving the spiritual master sudra serving brahmanas and others vaishya forming cow protection and business kshatriya protecting citizens by punishing miscreants maintaining the life by taxation Brahm- brahmana study teaching teaching worship giving charity accepting charity accepting worship hari krishna prabhu so these are different occupations basically bhakti no takur says that uh, <coughs> that told before also the wood is to follow three things do your sadhana very nicely this for a spiritual life second lead a life of mode of goodness getting up early, early in the morning maintaining cleanliness and standards some houses you go there extremely clean now one of the grasthas houses i went so then i had to save myself and uh, there was no mirror but tiles were so clean that i could look at the tiles and save myself so then cleanliness so that also leads to mode of goodness and then after that honoring prasadam offered in mode of goodness offered to lord in mode of goodness ingredients should be in mode of goodness that means not too much sour not too much uh, uh hot too much pungent too much sweet too much taste is mode of passion so leading my life of mode of goodness and third one is following varnasram duties very properly so that pleases the <coughs> subtle body if one is engaged according to one's propensities then subtle body is specified if one was against his propensities then subtle body is very unsatisfied 
nowadays people call it job satisfaction so that's a modern language but one if one knows one's burn and ashram properly then one can uh, follow those duties and be happy subtle body can be pleased okay manjunath who has a question you are not audible uh, hari krishna prabhu ji is it is it audible prabhu ji uh, now audible yes yeah uh, in the previous paragraph uh, in the previous, there is a uh, point no no here only in the grossa giving shelter to all living in it is uh, what does it mean exactly prabhu ji can you elaborate okay see giving shelter to all living entities means like for example in the houses also it's not that rats are there lizards are there you just kill them keep the house clean automatically they will not come not only they are that you kill them and no remove them at the same time guests come take the care of guests nicely and also uh, if you see from vedic custom there is a custom of taking care of cows and even lower animals so in my house what would happen i'll tell you in our house we would follow vedic culture very strictly so my mother she would like a uh, morning she would do vaishnava offering that is before coming to krishna consciousness offer to gopal ji afternoon offering would be more of a vedic offering so vedic offering is generally they uh, offer four or five parts they take the initial bhoga they offer in the fire which is basically offered to the devatas and then after that first chapati it would be offered to the cows then everything is cooked again and at the end whatever uh, uh gross wheat flour remains from that mother would cook uh, chapatis for lower animals like dogs etc so that is called maintaining the other living entities so first chapati would go will give to the cow it's like before we will honor prasad and last one would be given to the dogs and other animals similarly near our house lot of cows would come so father what he did is he made a whole tank for cows to come and drink water from that so that they don't go thirsty so basically grasthas what they do is generally they should not see other living entities as animals or sorry as enemies try to maintain them if you want to uh, avoid them maintain cleanliness if cleanliness is the automatically other living entities don't come but don't kill them killing is like extremely worse nowadays civilization current civilization is killing civilization kill the lizards throw them off kill the spiders throw them off so that's not what is expected from a grasta ants mosquitoes these are all very common uh, yeah so as much as possible avoid killing as much as possible now uh, similarly mosquitoes also are there use mosquito net you can use repellent mosquitoes don't die they become like uh, dizzy then throw them off but some devotee they use this rackets electric rackets zoom zoom you must all must have seen that's too brutal actually oh i saw many devotee i told them that at least don't kill in front of me so i just can't uh, it's like a brutal killing so that is not that is not something very good just uh, uh, i'll take another uh, advantage prabhu ji i mean adding to that uh, in any of uh, family members doing that uh, uh, killing that the family members will get the karma means you will not get you tell your you do your dharma of giving them good advice if still they don't uh, don't follow what can be done see it depends on your uh, authority in the home also authority means not should not be illusory authority should be real authority sometimes men thinks i am very authoritative wife doesn't follow that's not called authority so if really if you have that authority or influence give them at least good advice after they don't follow what can be done but uh, this gross killing should not be there at least okay thank you prabhu ji 
fine so this is about so we should maintain our gross maintenance household etc and subtle body should be maintained by basically varnasram so there is propensity uh, according to one swabhav which comes varnasram and the lifestyle according to one's lifestyle one may have some needs so different needs for different people from different cultures and different lifestyles also so that is not prohibited fine so one in mode of goodness or mode of passion ignorance should engage only in things of mode of good, uh, goodness doubt all everything in devotion service and be indifferent be indifferent towards the modes so in this way one can become transcendent so i told these three things so we follow these three things we can advance very quickly so now what we'll do now we'll go to the next verse So till text number three, they were more about we can see the behavior and internal developments. And why I took it in too much detail? Because they are very practical for devotees. And Bhakti Nath Thakur has written a whole book on that. Text four talks about sadhu sang, how to associate with devotees. so that uh, art is given in text number 4 you can try to repeat after me dadati pratigrahanati guhyam akhati prachati guhyam akhati prachati bhungte bhojate chaiva bhungte bhojate chaiva tat vidam priti lakshanam Can somebody read the translation? Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yeah. Uh, offering, accepting charitable <coughs> gifts, revealing one's mind in confidence, inquiring confidentially, accepting prasada and offering prasada are the six symptoms of love shared by the one devotee and another. So you'll find here the word used is. Very balu. Ka, ka. Very many many ka. Okay. So, uh, sad vidam priti lakshanam. So these are ways to have loving reciprocation with devotees. as we just read from bhakti no takur that uh, uh what are that we should have loving association with devotees or loving relationship with devotees and for other people we can have dutifully not with love so that's a priti is very important it should be uh way to exchange love and when hearts are involved attachment comes so attachment to devotees is a way to advance in spiritual life so there the verse in bhagavatam which says prasanga madaram pasam atmana kavayo vidu saev sadhu sukrito moksha dwaram apavrtam so it is said that attachment to matter is entangling for same attachment when applied to devotees of the lord sa ev sadhu sukrito whatever happens moksh dwaram apavrtam doors to liberation are opened so that frees one from the attachment so that's why the six loving exchanges should be done with devotees santosh prabhu had a question prasadam is transcendental yes at the same time 
प्रसादम कंपोनेंट अफेक्टस प्रसादम इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल बट इफ इट इज स्पॉइल्ड यू विल गेट स्पीचुअल एडवांसमेंट बट योर बॉडी विल सफर दैट इज देर एज सब्जी विच महाप्रसाद एंड इट इज अप इट हेज रीच यू आफ्टर सेवन डेज by taking that sabji you will get a spiritual advancement but health will get spoiled similarly the subtle component of the prasadam also what is that that if ingredients are in mode of passion lot of chili is there that will affect our consciousness also it will affect our subtle body prasadam a lot of chili you eat it you will get sweat similarly We get a lot of mode of passion also. So prasadam is transcendent; gives you spiritual benefit. At the same time, the subtle and gross components also affect us. But it doesn't have any karma. Rather, it frees you from karma. So those things are there. Okay, Santosh. I think I gave homework to all of you. No, Prabhu ji. Huh? No, no, Prabhu. Last week we didn't get homework. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot somehow. Today I'll get. Right. Yes. Somebody can read. As far as our Krishna consciousness movement is concerned, we are getting money naturally by the grace of God by selling our literature. The literature is not sold for our sense gratification. to spread a krishna conscious movement there is a danger for a preacher when he receives a great sorry uh, there is a text message has come i am not able to one second to yeah there is a danger for a preacher when he receives great quantities of money for as soon as he spends even a single cent of the collection for his personal sense gratification he becomes a fallen victim hari krishna my god so this is specially for uh, devotees who are collecting funds and those who are staying as brahmacharis in the temple so everything belongs to krishna so we distribute books all money should go to krishna only not that we put in pocket similarly any charity we collect on the behalf of temple has to go to temple only otherwise we will get severe reactions and at the same time devotees also you have to be careful to use the money which has come for krishna service in krishna service not for one sense gratification otherwise one will fall down so prabhupada is very careful and whatever money is coming as a charity Using Krishna service only. Okay, so we discuss about N O I two and three, six activities that entangle and spoil our devotion service, and six activities which are favorable to execution of pure devotion service. We accept learned about the practical application and difference application for householder and renouncers. So these are six activities. First is dadati pratigranati. These are two: giving gifts and accepting gifts. So when we give gifts and accept gifts, we should also be careful that uh, we should give gifts which are really going to be helpful for that person. Then consciousness is involved. It's not something very blind. Like I remember once one devotee was telling that uh, somebody gifted him a perfume bottle, which was worth millions of dollars, and that had alcohol within it. So he said, "I can't use it for uh, duties also. It has alcohol, and I don't want to, you know, put uh, this perfume. Not good for a brahmachari. And I am not a grasta who can put a perfume bottle in a some soap case. You don't have soap case. You have one locker only in the brahmacharya ashram. So he was saying, I don't know. I didn't know what to do with that gift. But I could appreciate this person's intent of giving gift. 
certainly intent is important at the same time when we give gift content is also important we should see whether that gift is beneficial for other person or not so if that conscious effort is there then it becomes very important and if we know this it is need of someone and we give the gift to that devotee at that time that becomes like really very precious gift like remember once one sanyasi came and he liked uh, he uh, some bed sheet which i had put there was like a hand woven bed sheet which my brother gifted me so then oh it's a very good na uh, for chanting etc so that time i told my brother to sponsor it so he sent that gift from he stayed in pune so he, he gave it from pune so then he really liked it but that is what he wanted so something if person wants if you give that that's like very really a gift so giving gifts and accepting gifts it touches the heart second is guya makati prakriti revealing one's mind in confidence and hearing in confidence okay some background sound is coming yeah i have muted bro okay so guya makati prachi prachati should be done only with devotees and only those things should be spoken which are beneficial for both like mahaprabhu he talked very confidently with ramanand rai but he won't talk all those topics about krishna and gopis and very confidential things with ordinary devotees or in open so we should know that when we are revealing heart in confidence or hearing in confidence it should be beneficial for both the people and should be done lovingly then it's called guya makati prachiti otherwise what happens is if we do it in a, don't do it in a proper way or we do it to an unqualified person that he may become bewildered like remember what there are don't very pretty senior devotee but very simple simple humble so then out of humility he started speaking he was telling just see this kats that the story of kats and devyani that kats was a you no know, he was sent by demigods and devyani proposed him but kats said no 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 i have taken knowledge from my guru sukrachar and your sukrachar's daughter i can't accept you i can't accept you in marriage you are as good as my guru's family only so i have a lot of respect for you so then he was out of humility said telling just see you know kats was such a sense controlled and such a principled person he said no i was there immediately i would have run away with this girl so now suddenly i know that he is a humble person he doesn't have any bad character but other outsiders were there they were like really looking are kya you know these people have character or not no this <laughs> brahmachari they'll run away with any girl so then no, we have to be careful that uh, guya makati prachita has to be done so the talk should be beneficial for both the people then we can talk confidentially so such a talk increases the love when it is done with qualified people okay manjunath prabhu hari krishna yeah with hari krishna prabhu ji with respect to the dadati pratik gruhanati uh, for example uh, in a devotee's families any functions are happened or anything uh, collecting gift gifts but uh, somehow we forget to give give gift back so when we collect gifts uh, that uh, accumulates karma prabhu ji by any chance no no like... see when it, when it done out of love from a devotee you don't have to worry about karma rather it brings the hearts together okay only one and, way happened one way happened i mean to say see one way means at least you must have fed them prasadam now your birthday is there okay or a brahmachari are there at least you no know, they they you know give some some uh, loving thanks and some loving gestures so that's okay, okay. but if somebody grasta is there then at least you feed them prasad your birthday not that they they give you gift and you say no hari krishna prabhu thank you very much no <laughs> no give them some prasad 
थैंक यू प्रभुजी ओके डिवोटी जनरली वी डोंट हैव टू वरी सो मच अबाउट करना जैसे फॉर टेम्पल ऑल्सो टेम्पल कैन गेट कलेक्शन ओनली फ्रॉम ग्रस्तास मीन डिवोटीज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड डिवोटीज प्रॉपर डिवोटीज दैट्स वेरी गुड वो दे गिव विथ प्रॉपर कॉन्सियसनेस एंड प्रॉपर एटीट्यूड इन केस ऑफ नॉन डिवोटीज प्रभु जी नॉन डिवोटीज इज देयर सी गिफ्ट दे आर गिविंग देन वी शुड डू ड्यूटीफुली एज वी टोल्ड बिफोर इट शुड नॉट इन्वॉल्व लव दे गिव यू समथिंग यू गिव समथिंग इन रिटर्न आई दर गिव दैम स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज और गिव दैम सम प्रसाद so some reciprocation should be there with them help them to advance in krishna consciousness okay so this guye ma kaji prachati that's basically and actually speaking especially talking about krishna that we can do with devotees only so generally new people or also new comers come we can't talk very deep topics with them That's why generally after preaching to newcomers, sometimes we feel very dry. But when we give classes to devotees, we go a little deeper. That nourishes. This is my personal experience also. Preaching to newcomers, it's not like so much nourishing, but giving bhakti sastri classes, bhakti vayav classes, that's pretty nourishing for, even for a speaker, because a lot of Krishna element is there. so guye ma khati prakriti can be done only with devotees and that that binds the heart especially when uh, uh, we reveal something in confidence but again same thing it should be beneficial for both the people we should done do that in uh, take that in picture rama lakshmi nanduri hari krishna prabhu ji thank you प्रभु जी एज ए डिवोटी वी इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस वी वी लव कृष्णा वी वॉन्टेड टू बी मोर इन कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस एंड स्टडी बुक ऑल दैट वी आर लाइकिंग बट एज ए रेस्पॉन्सिबल आई मीन वाइफ वी हैव टू वर्क फॉर फैमिली मीन्स हाउ हाउ फॉर वी हैव टू इन्वॉल्व इन वर्क हाउ टू मैनेज प्रभु बिकॉज बाई एंड ऑफ द डे कृष्णा इज अवर अल्टीमेट गोल सो हाउ टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट कॉन्शियसनेस प्रभु इन विल एडवाइज uh mata your last two lines were not audible properly uh, sorry there is a disturbance prabhu one second uh, as a as a wife like we i have to work for a family uh, so uh, whether wife really have to work or uh, uh, is it our responsibility or uh, how uh, if we work like how to protect our consciousness towards krishna uh, okay okay can you please yeah See, main thing is we have to do things dutifully, and if we do things dutifully, that will help us to progress in spiritual life because it supports spiritual life. If we don't do things dutifully, what actually happens is, uh, then there is displeasure from other family members, and when there is displeasure from other family members. that disturbs the family so in return it disturbs us also so that's why when uh, we do it we should do it dutifully at the same time we should have some exclusive time for krishna like chanting of our holy names our regular rounds reading prabhupad books reading krishna's past times worshiping deities these are our personal relationship with krishna so then uh, that personal time also we should spend and associate with devotees attend programs etc so that is how it can be balanced but whatever duties are there we should do it nicely properly but if if that love is not involved actually it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter like if you see these uh, receptionists so receptionists they smile at people and uh, they you know invite them please come to our hotel or come to our uh, no airport or whatever But that doesn't mean that a receptionist may relationship with all the people. It's like a more of an official relationship. So then, that's why the involvement of heart doesn't come. Involvement of heart comes when we have love. So duty fully on a platform of duty, we should do everything, whether it is family members or outsiders, whoever. Okay, Mataji. Yeah. 
then answer question yes prabhu yes prabhu okay manjuna yeah hare krishna prabhu ji uh, how would we know that uh, are we doing beautifully or not any symptoms is there people involved if they are satisfied or we have done to the best of our ability then it's beautiful and for everything there is a different uh, what do you say landmark so your question is like you no know, very wide questions like you, you say someone can you tell me everything about krishna so 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 many things about krishna so like that so it's very much uh, depending on time place circumstances person and responsibility all these things okay. and the third one fifth and sixth is bhumte bojate chaiva this is very powerful technique people open their hearts on prasadam table that is what generally we have seen you feed them prasad heart opens like among all of you how many people really became devotee because of prasad only yeah so many people are raising their hands so generally prasadam is what what one touches so, so many devotees find that they became devotees because of prasad philosophy goes later on inside so that's why we see vaishnav culture is quite centered around prasad so there's a photograph of chira dahi mahotsav of panihati now so devotees accepting prasad it became a festival so in krishna leela one of the famous leelas would be gopal and krishna taking prasad so that uh, accepting prasad and uh, offering prasad it really especially when heart is involved it touches a person so then that is something which people can't forget so this very powerful way of developing attachment for devotees yes so this summary of uh, <coughs> what prabhupada has given in the purport so i'll read it out and then i forgot to give the homework so that will give in the next class so you will go well more deeply in the exercise somebody can read the heading one black one in this verse in this verse shrila rupa goswami explains how to perform devotional activities in the association of other devotees page number 39 this kind has been established to facilitate these six kind of loving exchanges between devotees and the life of krishna conscious society is nourished by these six types of loving exchange among the members therefore people must be given the chance to associate with these kind devotees because simply by reciprocating in these six ways an ordinary person can fully revive his dormant krishna consciousness yeah So these six ways are so powerful that one can revive one's Krishna consciousness. Because when we say Krishna, Krishna means Krishna along with the devotees. Even when we go to special world, it is not that only I am there, Krishna is there. Krishna is there. So many devotees are there. So I should learn the art of dealing with devotees. And the best way of making a relationship with devotees is six loving exchanges. and why it is so important prabhupada writes the key here one des- desires and ambition develop according to the company one keeps so if we i have a son of those devotees who are very serious about chanting of the holy names we also get taste for chanting of the holy names if we associate with devotees who have lot of taste for reading prabhupada books i get that desire if we Associated with devotees who have a great taste for serving Vaishnavas, we get that desire. 
if we say stay with devotees who are not so serious we also get those results so it totally depends on our uh, type of association what we want to be so choose the association according to what you want to be simple thing that's how you should do these things with the devotees so in offering and accepting uh, gifts rupa says that the greatest gift is to give the gift of the holy name so we give the gift of holy name to people and they have opportunity to inquire so everybody should be given the opportunity to hear about holy name so it's also a gift holy name is a gift cheto dar pan mardram bhav mahadev agni nirapna so these are the different effects of the holy name the first was of success so that is how chanting of the holy name is the greatest charity we find that in the teachings of haridas sakur and also how lord chaitanya he gave gave the gift of holy name to all the animals in jhadikanda and they became devotees so nitya siddha krishna prem sadaka unai shravanadi siddha chit karve udare so krishna prem is already there in the heart but by hearing and chanting it is revived so that's why charity of holy name is considered biggest charity because it helps one to reconnect himself with krishna who is one's original father so for a child who is lost the greatest charity is to bring him back in contact with his parents so that's considered highest biggest charity and another charity we will discuss it in detail in the next class that devotees should spend 50% of their income in service of lord and devotees grastas so we will discuss next when we have this exercise revealing mind inquiring confidentially experienced devotee explains and inexperienced devotee learns that's also guya makati prachati and equal devotees can also discuss krishna katha that's also guya makati prachati So members and supporters inquire about devotion service and devotees explain. That is also guya magati prachati. And prasadam, devotees arrange Hare Krishna festival, Sunday feast, lavishly distribute prasad. And when they go to their supporters etc. etc. they give them prasad. So in this way there is relationship which, which gets developed. so let me complete this one also uh, last one then we'll i'll take questions somebody can read it is a negative injunction yeah it is the negative injunction of this verse that we should refrain from giving anything accepting anything from the mayavadis and atheists nor should we speak with them associate with them confide in them or seek their advice indeed shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has forbidden devotees to associate to associate even with ordinary men who are too addicted to material sense gratification 546 analogy feeding a snake milk and bananas are you agree so if we feed milk and bananas to a snake its poison increases similarly one should not have loving exchanges with non devotees and mayavadis so i told it can be done dutifully but not with love love with love it should be only with devotees now we can take questions so just a minute are you asking about devotees families if any birth or death happened then we will not do dt worship and also we will not open puja room also in that case how to offer and take prasadam so in that case there are various options for the devotees so then we can have a small photograph of the spiritual master and we can offer him so may not be deities but then we offer to the spiritual master and we accept 
also you can always go to the temple and take prasad but what is practical is you offer to the spiritual master and he offers to the deities and gifts so that's a easy way sometimes our immediate relatives but non devotees arrange a function where we need to help them and if they serve non veg obviously we won't take it but can we help them to for the function to complete you can use the function that part of the function where directly involvement of meat is not there like don't help them in the kitchen or start serving non non veg to other people that's a karmic but you can help them in like decoration etc receiving the guest that we can do so we should not be involved in those things which are directly involved with breaking food principles okay rajesh uh, fine now narasimha pro yeah hari krishna pro prabhu like uh, uh, sometimes we might be taking very long journeys might be from here to canada toronto or us so this flight journeys are very long and we might not get uh, the uh, means uh, offered food and also in this case is it okay to take normal uh, this thing prabhu so generally is what devotees do is what we have seen is they take fruits and uh, i think juices are also there what they give yeah prabhu sometimes they give uh, canned canned juice and all uh, but uh, uh, so, uh, it's 14 hours sometimes it takes uh, from hong kong to canada direct flight so in that like uh, specifically some flights offer jain food prabhu but otherwise uh, uh, it might not be there so in some flights so okay so i don't know what's uh, i have never gone such a long journey flights <laughs> but uh, again share with what devotees generally do is so one thing is many devotees they take only fruits and juices mm-hmm. and for one day 14 hours also you know we can survive one day not not like so heavy also we do ekadashi <laughs> so it's like a one one extra ekadashi so one extra ekadashi we can do we can take fruits and this but certainly if somebody has to go travel very frequently then things may be difficult But if unless until that is there, it is not a difficulty. And worst case, somebody has to take lot of flights. So in that case, some devotees what they do is they take this Jain food without. They say, I take Jain food and I am al- allergic to onion and garlic. So yeah. that time they. Yeah. So in Indian flights, yes, so normally we get this uh, Jain food. Product. That is what we order. But yeah, some other flights like uh, uh, within US you travel or within any other country. So sometimes it. Uh, Yeah. So fruits, as you said, yeah, uh, fruits and uh, juices. Okay. Take a lot of prasad before boarding the flight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. And after you get down again, take a lot of prasad. Prabhupada would do that actually. Prabhupada would eat a lot of parathas. So once I remember, uh, there is a past time where Prabhupada was going to board the flight, and he was taking a lot of parathas. So then one of the crew members. they were just uh, going to go to the airport they saw are in the waiting place prabhupada is taking so much of parathas so no this lady was telling no no swami ji don't take no this much oily food you are going in the flight it may create indigestion and this and that prabhupada didn't care that i i taken a taken a before every flight so that is how devotees okay prabhu hari hari okay fine So, so there are no question. Then we'll move ahead. So this is our holy name. Somebody can read. Yeah, Prabhu, I'll read. So Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhya Khabu Naya Shravanadi. शुद्ध चित्ते कारये उदया सो चैतन्य चरितम सम मध्य 2207 प्योर लव फॉर कृष्णा इज एटर्नल एटर्नली एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन द हार्ट्स ऑफ द लिविंग एंटिटीज इट इज नॉट समथिंग टू बी गेन्ड फ्रॉम अनदर सोर्स 
and the heart is purified by hearing and chanting this love naturally awakens association of devotees devotees give holy name and one develops desire to chant contamination in heart is removed cheto darpana even other species can become completely purified example animals in jharkhand forest conversation with uh, not able to see haridas thakur haridas thakur so basically this uh, charity of holy name is considered biggest charity because automatically person becomes a devotee since love for krishna is there already within everyone's heart so when devotees go out and do sankirtan then automatically people who hear their hearts become cleansed and love of god at awakens so it's considered the greatest charity so when one when one associate with devotees devotees give him dadati they give him holy name and they give him a desire to chant and when one chants lust and we pride greed which is it is cleansed from the mirror of the heart i think it is in uh, one of the small books of rupa rupa writes that mirror is compared to the heart and the dust on the mirror is the designations fault designations so false designations are there i am owner of this place i am man i am from this nation etc they are considered to dust so when we chant what happens is we connect with the lord so the false designations go away the true designation of being servant of krishna arises in this way heart becomes cleansed consciousness becomes cleansed and it is so powerful that even if somebody is powerful like lord chaitanya he can make even animals into devotees like haridas shagur he asks lord chaitanya he says my dear lord how will non devotees be benefited devotees fine devotees go out they chant hari krishna other people become purified human beings become purified but what about non devotees really lord chaitanya ask ask uh, haridas shagur and haridas shagur says that my dear lord even if somebody is a non devotee and he hears holy name or he chants holy name unknowingly so he gave example of a yavana who consumed lot of cow flesh and because of that he got constipated and he was not able to pass two so when in the forest he was trying to pass two there was a wild boar waiting for his food but because his fellow was not able to pass two for long time Boar became very impatient, and he killed the person who was going to pass through only, Yavana. And when this Yavan, he saw it, he said, "Haram." Lord took it as Haram and delivered that person. So holy name is a part. Then Mahapur says, "But what about the animals?" Haridas Thakur says, "Already you have delivered so many animals in the Jharkhand forest." and then mahapuru says oh but what about inanimate objects like trees and plants so haridas sagar says that when we chant we hear a echo echo is the is the sankirtan of inanimate objects so that is how chanting of holy names is greatest gift to the humanity so this mahapuru dancing and jhari friend i have been to the place where mahaprabhu made them dance even till today you can find the footprints of tigers lions elephants and chaitanya mahaprabhu's footprints are also there so because they dance in love their footprints were embedded in the rock still still there in jharkhand so we would generally take camps youth camps of uh, bit rachi uh, devotees so that is the proof how even animals can become devotees somebody had questions
महाराज ने बताया वॉट हरे कृष्णा प्रू वॉट इज मैंट ऑफ ददाती ददाती मीन गिविंग गिविंग गिफ्ट ददाती गिविंग एंड रोहित प्रू एज क्वेश्चन सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑन द वे टू कृष्णा ओके ओके ऑन द वे टू कृष्ण थैंक यू रोहित ओके मंजूनाथ नॉट ऑडिबल प्रो सॉरी प्रभु जी लाइक ट्रीज यू मेन्शन राइट प्रभु जी हाउ अबाउट हिल्स एंड ऑल्स Hills also have a soul, right? Uh, will yeah. will they get a chance uh, to elevate? Ah, huh, they also they still eco. Eco comes that Haridas Shagur says this is Sangeetan of inanimate objects, including trees and hills, trees and mountains. But they will take uh, some crores lifetime, right, Prabhuji, to get a chance to elevate. No, no, it depends on the chanter also. Who is chanting? Okay. See, Mahapuru who directly give Krishna prem. I can't give Krishna prem because I my Krishna prem is not awakened. So it depends on the level of chanter also. Okay. Thank you, Guru. Yeah. So this exercise for all of you. So somebody would like to share instance where. You are touched by a particular devotee's behavior in either of the six loving exchanges, and that gave you inspiration to become devotee. I want to become devotee like him. Somebody would like to share? You can raise your hand electronically. Physically, I can't see. Okay, Veni Madhav. Hare Krishna, bro. Thank you, Pranam, bro. <clears throat> bro, when I was in initially in temple, uh, I was studying and uh, some I got a chance to stay in temple. There was a one cook. Uh, now also is there. His name is Uru Krama, bro. Uh, uh, we were like just working, uh, like you know, some are studying, some are working like that. We used to come sometime late and some devotees used to come late. As you said before, uh, la- long last class example. Whenever devotees comes, even nine nine o'clock, ten o'clock. is to come back cook and give prasadam for all of them like you know we were really captivated by his behavior how come is because from morning he will be in kitchen cooking continuously and so many people will devotees will come and ask him prasadam give prasadam like that he make sure that before he sleeps is everybody get a milk and everybody you know you know get a sufficient prasadam everything make sure and keep some extra prasadam one place And uh, he put one kind of board. Prasad is available if somebody comes there. It looks like a no. Maybe he may be touching individually, but whoever whomever he touched, definitely they are very much obliged to him. You no, know, because of his uh, behavior, bro. That I like to. Correct. Yeah. So what lesson do you learn from that, Vini Madhav, bro? <laughs> lesson in the sense, bro. Uh, no need to uh, sit in the vasas and give a class. Just by behavior of the Vaishnava, we can transform so many devotees. What I felt, bro. Yeah, so loving course, exchanges. Yeah. Uh, giving classes, of course, important. We cannot, but this is very important where we are implementing our qualities among the devotees and exchanging. How much love you he had for devotees? So, so loving exchange. See, outside also we may go in a hotel where somebody may be serving with a lot of attitude. But many times we find that no, they have some motive. Love is there immediately; it can be felt. Oh, so that transforms. Okay, Manjunath, who wants to share? Yeah, Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji, Dhanat uh, <coughs> uh, Pranam. So here uh, we, I think, uh, as you know, we are all part of uh, Care Promise Khan Bhakti Center. I think uh, here uh, best devote is basically uh, whenever we see, I think. Uh, <clears throat> literally they uh, uh, take out of a pain and uh, they serve all the yatra devotees and uh, many times i have seen actually uh, closely also uh, associated with them uh, <clears throat> like whatever venumadav prabhu has just spoke about about his uh, uh, past uh, experience 
I, par- I uh, literally seen it actually. Whoever visit to the base, whoever uh, 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 visit to the center, they will ensure uh, all devotees have uh, prasadam or not. Uh, they will ensure even if it is over also. For example, unexpectedly we uh, we see some 50 new 50 newcomers came to the center on a particular Sunday. Uh, they will uh, not feel uh, uh, pain and all. They will just go and cook extra rice and uh, they will offer it and they will uh, take an extra step and do all things. So really, uh, that energy uh, I share with many senior devotees also. and many. So uh, I think I learned a lot from them actually. Basically, uh, how can we have more patient uh, when uh, some unexpected things come happen? So in the, in the form of devotional life actually. Uh, I, uh, and I can name anyone, actually, all the best devotees uh, are uh, leading by Venimada Prabhu. Uh, they are doing amazing job and uh, we are all uh, following their footsteps. Uh, really great, Prabhuji. Hari Bol. So you'll find that had, how love action is there. So what do we learn from that? What do we learn from that, Manjunath Prabhu? Uh, Prabhuji, yeah, no, no. Basically, the a humbleness, humbleness, and uh, like a patience. Uh, uh, even uh, they, they so even uh, sometimes they will not uh, sleep uh, uh, five hours or six hours. And the next day also there is some services are pending. We can see lot of uh, uh, lot of I mean, energy. I am really surprising where that energy comes from actually. Okay, I would uh, say another way. How will you apply this principle in your life? Yes, Prabhuji. Uh, I'm trying actually, still not applied. I'm trying actually. I'm still on the way to apply actually. I'm just an early bird to the Krishna consciousness actually. I mean, this is a three, a three years bird in this, three years a baby in this energy, in this life actually. So I'm just learning. I'm just seeing and learning proactively. Thank you. So basically, so that is how we should apply. We should apply what love we got, we should share with others. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Ramalakshmi Mataji. Mataji, you have a hand raised? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prabhari Krishna Prabhu. Uh, I was taking this opportunity to, you know, uh, uh, about uh, tell about uh, Sunita Mataji, who is, who is there in the same class. Uh, she was, uh, I was, I mean, I was attracted by, see, looking at her. Otherwise, I would have not known about the valuable value of Krishna consciousness. Um, whenever I go, she used to stay next to, I mean, we are neighbors earlier, now not. Uh, whenever I go and visit her house, uh, uh, the way, the attitude of her was really amazing, Prabhu. Uh, she used to receive very nicely and all the time with a smiling face. Uh, there is uh, nothing uh, like uh, all the time she used to look in the same way. So whenever I ask, she used to say it will be very good. I wanted to know what is that? How it will be very good? The Krishna consciousness. Uh, it will be. It, it gives so much happiness. Uh, uh, I was really like, how the happiness will be like? Because in daily routine life, we will have so many up and downs, and how can we stay? We remain happy. Happy. Uh, that is what I wanted to know. With the same curiosity, I was into uh, Krishna consciousness, and uh, till today, she will be keep motivating me. And uh, if she make me in such a way, I, I have to motivate others. So I have to, uh, so much thankful to her uh, by taking this opportunity. And uh, I, she has to keep bless me uh, in the same way to grow in a Krishna consciousness, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Padma Matajan Murli Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Taking care of devotee in critical situation like COVID. So that's why in our ashram also we have this health health department. So department very critical. They can offend devotees like anything and they can please devotees like anything. Recently when I got COVID, these devotees took all risk and they served me. So that's like uh, they really touches. Touches the heart. Narasi Mampuru. Uh, so this is just uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, 
Uh, I would like uh, I would like to share my feel, uh, feelings uh, with my uh, one of my devotees experience. Let's say he's my brother. I can say uh, my sister-in-law's husband who's a devotee since uh, more than uh, 25 years, a senior devotee. I can say who, who actually was influenced a lot in our life. Um, uh, in fact, he's the one who, who who guided me to chant when I was uh, pregnant. So during my pregnancies, uh, I used to chant because of him. That was uh, my blessing, you can say. So, uh, so it was like happened in once that we had to, uh, you know, a simple, I mean, we had to had a family get together kind of thing. It was a kind of function and uh, it is like, a, so we are in the amongst all the Brahminical members only, I mean, Brahmin family. And uh, even though it was in a Brahmin family and um, like you, you would have seen or you would have known like how uh, devotees are treated in even in Brahminical family. They, they'll say, you know, oh, uh, Iskon devotee means is different, you know, they, they, they don't consider that much. So once it has happened that uh, in a function and you know, at the end of the day, so there was a, a good lot of members and um, so like for a sleeping arrangements and all. So it was that uh, uh, could be that not intentionally or unintentionally. So my brother, if you say, uh, is a devote as a senior devotee, was uh, happened to sleep in a uh, place where he has to sleep next to other uh, non devotees' uh, feet. You know, is though he's a Brahmin, uh, but uh, I feel that personally, he's you know, as he's a senior devotee, he's. Uh, more elevated than the other Brahmins in the family, I can say. So, but I I, I saw that, that that moment was very uh, embarrassing for me only. So, but he he never felt anything. He said that uh, he just next, he fell, uh, slipped next to the other person's feet. And then he said, I'll just take the lotus feet of your, uh, I mean, I'll take the lotus dust of your feet and then I'll sleep, you know, in a very nice way he took it. And uh, I mean, that was uh, something which is really, really uh, not easy for a person to accept. Uh, that was really uh, uh, touched my heart. So it's not easy for because then when you have all the appliances, in a, even in material way and even in a spiritual uh, position elevated, and when you have a group of people with all these things, um, that, that, that behavior is really. Uh, touched to my heart, Prabhuji. And it's an exception, I can say. I mean, we, we can, I have learned so many things and uh, from that devotee. So, so we can, we can, yeah. That's that's a great one. Yeah, thank you. Hare Krishna. Uh, Hare Krishna. Vinu I think Mata is there. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Then that's Pranam. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Prabhuji, during this COVID times, uh, I would like to thank all the devotees who have shown so much love, so especially in taking care of us, all the three members, my mother, myself, and my wife, we were all admitted in the hospital. So the devotees, so they all uh, uh, took so much care. So they gave us prasadam. So each devotee would take a turn and uh, they would give us prasadam three times a day. So... And also the base devotees, I would like to thank each and every one of them, especially Vedi Madhav Prabhu, Kiran Prabhu, so, and all the Anupam Prabhu, so Parmanand Prabhu, they all took special care. So coming personally, serving, so they didn't even care that I had COVID. So they would uh, come with masks, but stay at a distance and serve. So this uh, serving attitude was uh, very much touching. So, felt very, very grateful for all the devotees and uh, they all prayed for us so, through the whole month So to, for us to recover and get back. So, still on the path of recovery. So, so this service attitude of the devotees has really touched me, Prabhu. We would like to serve them so in a better way. So, by the mercy of Guru Gauranga and Vaishnavas. Hare Krishna. Yeah. And we can find big difference in outside world also. You'll find so many people while they got COVID and they suffered like anything because of being neglected. Mm. So and, and here I received 
so much care from devotees and was so overwhelming actually yeah yeah hare krishna hare san prabhu hare krishna prabhu uh for the couple of months i was not feeling well actually uh all the devotees not one or two like that all surrounding devotees all best devotees there are a lot of love exchanges with me there are a lot of transaction happen with me uh maybe in terms of um, requirements i was not able to go outside even because of this pandemic situation as well as my health issue so the, even till now till today they are helping me so there is a lot of love exchange i can't even explain what way they are how many type of love i don't know <laughs> so it is going on till now it is going on and uh, uh, i am very much thankful to them so this is a big example in my life so it is not one day two day three day it been more than 6 months 7 months even more than one year it is happening like that. so thank you all devotees hari krishna hari hari So one last experience of Rajesh Prabhu. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu ji. It was a similar situation for me. Last year I was affected by COVID. And uh, uh, all the devotees, especially base devotees and uh, the devotees, continuously they were serving, uh, they, they were giving prasadam to me and uh, my wife for uh, whole days. before admitting into the hospital and whenever i want to go to hospital uh, only veni mother prabhu veni mother prabhu always yeah i'm i'm ready i'll come with you like that prabhu comes with me and uh, he, uh, wherever for testing or anything finally he admitted me in the hospital i was not knowing he was staying there in the hospital uh, that uh, parking whole night he admitted me in the hospital in the night next day morning till the morning he was there in the parking then later he said because doctor said uh, you need to be there whenever uh, any any emergency we call you like that so it was it he was there and uh, during that time my wife was in uh, home home quarantine they kept her uh, in locked condition she cannot go anywhere out uh, maybe around for 20 days a devotee uh, served prasadam to her all the morning afternoon night so she cannot cook she cannot go outside buy anything so all the 20 days uh, our uh, devotees served prasadam to her and, uh, and when i was in hospital all the devotees were calling me and uh, gi- giving that uh, conscious conscious to me and uh, confidence to me to get better it, it and uh, after coming out of uh, hospital again the devotees taken care uh, the base devotees given uh, prasadam i was staying in the uh, the kerbaram center hall devotees gave all the three days they only pack the prasadam and uh, bring to me it was uh, we cannot expect uh, this kind of love and uh, affection from anyone from a- anywhere outside so in this way i want to thank uh, all the devotees of uh, the kerbaram congregation uh, for, uh, for for uh, taking care of uh, our family during that uh, covid situation we are always uh, need to we always uh, uh, grateful to serve all the devotees in the kerbaram congregation too. Yes, Prabhu. Yes, okay. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Prabhu is rejoining. Prabhu is rejoining. Anand Gaur, Prabhu, you are in your trouble. I think Prabhu got disconnected. You are in mute, Prabhu. Hari. So I'll just take one more question. So thank you very much, Rajesh Prabhu. Thank you. So one question is there for Satish Krishna Prabhu. Killing cockroaches, mosquitoes attract sin. What about damages they cause in terms of our health, like cockroaches infest food items, thereby causing health problems? There are solutions for all these things. if you are neat and clean generally these problems don't come i'll give you a very gross incidents from true past life also 
now all of you were really touched by prasadam and you can imagine how much prasadam is being made in any scon center including your center also so in juhu devotees were having travel from rats so they asked prabhupad prabhupad can we kill the rats prabhupad said all of you should be killed He said, "Because you are very unclean, the rats are coming there." So, in one of the temples where they have a lot of rats problem, what they did is they made sure that cooked food should not be kept open in kitchen, and kitchen were clean every night, and they blocked all the holes also in the temple. So then there were no rats. same thing is true with the cockroaches mosquitoes anything if we think keep things clean generally these things won't trouble us so these things come whenever there is uncleanness for mosquitoes already i told that uh, we can have your mosquito repellent or we can have this uh, mosquito nets all our brahmachari sleep in mosquito nets so then we don't have trouble with them we don't have to kill them all the times See, killing is anyway not a solution. How many mosquitoes will you kill? Now there are millions of mosquitoes. So what we find is that there are solutions. What to say of that? Even in our Gosala, where I stay, there are thousands of mosquitoes, not thousands, thousand mosquitoes in one one toilet. So this is a uh, farm area. But then our devotees have this. Uh, I in this it's called Parkinson, Frankinson, something like that. But in a uh, local language they call it uh, dhuna so they have this we have uh, cow dung cakes gobar and then we have this we put uh, this frankincense which is like a basically sap of a plant and mosquitoes run away so many times what happens is because these mosquito repellent companies and all these people they want to really advertise it so much they so as if not it's like very disastrous but if uh, we have natural methods of getting rid of them even many creams are there you can apply in your hands and legs and their herbal creams are there so we can avoid mosquitoes prabhakar pro harishna existing cockroaches come in night only when we go for sleep what can we do about that same thing if it is not exposed food then there is no problem also na so you get uh this is from cockroaches only when they sit on the exposed food so keep the kitchen clean keep things in tight container then uh, we won't have much cockroach problem i have practically seen even in, in our dt kitchen many years ago around 15 years ago in calcutta so there was a big problem of cockroaches but now uh, of course this renovated the kitchen also in such a way that there are no cockroaches now and things are kept very clean anybody who does backup who does cooking <coughs> who does offering immediately after that one has to clean it thoroughly and because things are clean with these problems don't come see this is best we can do but i would say killing is the last option we shouldn't do it uh, unless until things are very disastrous unless until now these living entities are killing all of us in a big way <coughs> we should not kill so it's possible to avoid as much as possible so we have herbal solutions also. and even uh, for malaria and dengue if we live with the environment actually they don't travel us so much so this i'm not a very authentic person in speaking about it but according to ayurveda malaria and dengue comes when for people who have lot of pitta in their body acid in their body so same time when mosquitoes come same time you find coconut water also coming up 
lot of coconuts come in the trees because environment gives a solution also nature gives a solution so anybody who takes naril pani at that time he will not get so anyways but i am not a authority so i won't speak about it i am not a ayurvedic doctor fine so i spoke whatever uh, rupal would generally speak so nothing wrong okay so we we'll end here and i'll give homework to all of you for the next class sri updesh amrit ki jai jai sri rup goswami ki jai jai sri gopal ji jai